Alright, what's good YouTube? German Thomas here back with another video on the channel and today we have an NPPA playoffs round one match. But of course we have the team builder first. We are going up against the Texas Aggies coach by Joe Pick. And uh, yeah, we are the eighth seed and Joe is the first seed. So we did get in on, on the eighth seed with a tie with the seventh seed actually. But we got the eighth seed place because overall our strength of schedule were a little bit weaker compared to theirs. They beat someone that was in the top four, I believe, where we lost to the same person. And that was kind of what the decided the factor. But overall, I actually do prefer it like this because we get to play a new person. Because the second seed would have been our we one opponent, Daddy Dark or Daddy's Dark Aura. That's why I feel like this is a little bit more fun. We get some new people to play against. But yeah, I've actually I believe we have played against Joe like once or twice before. Um he's been in WPF before, if I remember correctly. So I, I'm pretty excited about it. I know he's a really swell, really cool guy. So overall, this is going to be a very fun matchup. And his team consists of Mega Mawile, Landorus, Slowbro, Thunderous, Bacephalon, Shaman, Hitman Top, Axelgore, Buffalon, um, Absol, just regular Absol, <laughs> and Dragalgi. So he has a really, like, of course, it's a really good team. He came in first. Like, he's a good player. He has a good team. So overall, just, just the synergy works. His speed tier is pretty decent, though he has a little bit of a gap between Excelgo and Thunderous. Like I, I would have liked if if it, were, if it was my team, I would have liked one more in between there. But I get the I get why that's not always a thing you can just get, you know. Um, he has the mobile slow bro combo, which is something you often do see because you can trick room teleport into mobile with the slow bro. Uh, he has the Lando and Thunderous, which is kind of weird because I feel like I see that more often than not. Uh, I guess it's a good combo somehow. <laughs> But uh, he does like a little bit of like a really solid fairy resist that's not the Mawile. So Mawile is his only fairy resist I would call solid. There's also um, Placephalon, but you know, it's a Placephalon. It takes a lot of damage still. And Dragalgi is of course neutral. So you can actually do a lot if you have a good offensive fairy. Now our fairy type isn't super offensive, but it can be. And you'll, you'll see when we get into the build, the, the build here. Uh... Mons, we definitely have to watch it. Oh, of course, the Mega Mawile. Like, I legit just do not have a Mawile check, like, at all. I don't have a Mon that can guarantee live two hits no matter what. So, I went with a sort of interesting strategy, which you'll see here in a split second. Um, other Mons, we have to watch a little bit out with. With what we brought today, Blacephalon can be a little bit of an issue. Especially if it's like a Flame Charge um, Life Orb set, maybe, or something like that. Where it's trying to be an in-game sweeper that can definitely beat us, beat us in the long run. And uh, overall, just like Lando, Thunder, Thundy, Slowbro, Shaman can be annoying. Maybe if they bring like Hitman Top, stuff like that. Um, I'm not too worried about Axelgo, like, Absol, Bouvelon, maybe not even Dragalgi really, but we'll, we'll see when we get into the match. And I guess with that, let's just head into our own team. So first on our team this week, we of course have Pride the Dark Pride. Also, this is not on, this is on the battler, not the builder. There we go. Pride, oh, I haven't done nicknames. I guess I'll do them live then. Pride the Dark Cry, which is gonna be right, Life Orb with Bad Dreams, Psychic Ice Beam, Incinerate, and Dark Pulse. 112 in HP, 282 in space, like 144 in speed with a Timid Nature. So I opted to actually go with the Timid Nature with a lot of bulk because it does mean we can take like a hit or two from certain mods. Of course, we won't live a Mawile hit, like it's a Mega Mawile, and we're gonna take a hit. But Incinerate actually does do a semi-decent amount of damage to that thing. It also lets us hit the Shaman. Of course, we also have Ice Beam for that. But Ice Beam is also dedicated to Lando, Thundee, and Dragalgi. We have Dark Pulse for Stab against like Slowbro and Blacephalon and stuff like that. Uh, we have Psychic, so we can hit like the Hitmonton and the Dra Dragalgi. Mostly just the Hitmonton because like an AV Hitmonton could be Hitmonton can be kind of annoying. So Psychic is our strongest move to hit that thing with. Uh, other than that, this is just here to put a lot of offensive pressure on. It's not here to win the game, really. It's just here to do a lot of damage and hopefully get Mons within reach so we can potentially win with something else. Next up, we have Mega Sceptile with the Sceptile Light, Lightning Rock, Focus Blast, Energy Ball, Dragon Pulse, and Protect. 144 in HP, 252 in Special Attack, and 112 in Speed with a Modest Nature. So the reason why I'm running three attacks Protect is because I expect our opponent to potentially have... Uh, Trick Room Slow Bro into Mobile. That is so good against our team. There's not a whole lot I can do to stop it. So running Protect on like a Mon that doesn't need the fourth move. Because I don't feel like Sceptile needs the fourth move. Originally I did have EQ to hit the Persephalon with. But that would kind of be it. Like um, Focus Blast actually does more to Mobile than EQ would do. So might as well just run the three attacks. And then just Dragon Pulse Persephalon. It still does a lot. Like EQ would kill the Persephalon. But 
Dragon Pulse does, does about like 70-80%, so I feel like that's fine enough, you know, we can live with that damage. But yeah, this is also here to just do a lot of damage. He doesn't have a great switch, in my opinion, to this. Like, he really likes a switch. Like, it might actually be the same Hitmontop. And if it is the same Hitmontop, I mean, that means just, that just means we put a lot of pressure on that Hitmontop immediately. Other than that, I don't see what he swaps into this. Maybe Shaman, if it's like a defensive uh, bulgy Shaman, maybe. We'll see. Next up, we have Delphox, the... Oh, wait. <laughs> maybe I should give these names, you know. <laughs> Greed, the Zeptile, and we have Kitsune, the, <laughs> the Delphox, with Leftovers, Blaze, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, and Substitute. 32 in HP, 252 in Space Attack, 224 in Speed with Timid Nature. The reason we're running Substitute on this with the Leftovers... Well, Leftovers is because we're running Substitute... Is because I don't want to risk Moa being able to click Sucker Punch on this. If Moa goes like plus two and I go into this, I don't want to risk the Sucker Punch. If I click Substitute and Isakas, we get a free sub up. If they swap, we get a free sub up. I don't really see much of a downfall to having Substitute on this thing. Because the dual stab plus Shadow Ball just goes in. We hit everything our opponent can bring. Also, I'm opting for Psychic over Psy Shock. Just because Psychic overall against the entirety of the team is slightly better. You could argue the Psy Shock, so when you hit Dragalgi on the physical side, hit Montana on the physical side, stuff like that would be better. But I'm pretty sure it's because of like Lando, Thundee, Placephalon, and Shaman. Psychic is just straight up better. Because those are mons we need to hit with Psychic rather than... Well, we can hit Flamethrower on like Thundee and uh, Lando, I think. Uh, and actually Shaman as well. I don't know. I might, I might check Psy Shock, but I believe I did do the Calc where Psychic. Against the entirety of our opponent team, it's just better than uh, Psy Shock. Next up, we have Tabufini with the... Uh, it's not Tabufini, it's Lust. The Tabufini <laughs> with Choice Specs, Misty Surge, Surfs, Moonblast, Hydro Bomb, and Trick. 248 in HP, two, uh, 208 in Special Second, 60 in Speed with the Modest Nature. So as you can see, we're going kind of offensive. These are four offensive months so far. Though Tab Tabufini is just as much here as to be able to maybe trick the Slowbro a little bit. Um, dual stab just straight up should be good enough in this matchup. As I mentioned, our opponent's fairy resist is the mobile itself. And with choice specs, that mobile is not swapping in that much. Even though we don't have max special attack, we still do a ton of damage. We do about 40% to the mobile with a specs moonblast. And honestly, if I see the damage being worth it, I might just stay in and click Moonblast again, even though the Mawile might live and I might die. I might just do it because getting rid of that Mawile actually means we have a chance of winning this game, basically. That's what that means. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Fini is here. Just, you know, be fat. It can swap into a Choice Scarf Placephalon once or a non-Specs Placephalon. Like, it can swap into and guarantee live two hits. So we can, like, pressure that out. That's pretty, pretty nice. That's why we're going bulky rather than fast, Fini. And then we have, uh, <coughs> whoops, Wrath, the Scissor with Ockerberry, Technician, Buckbite, Bullet Punch, Roost, and Sword Stand, 232 in HP, 252 in Attack, and 24 in Speed with an Adam and Nature. So this is where my decision to do a very hyper offensive team came in. Originally, I wanted to bring in Defensive Scissor because that was kind of our best check for the mobile, like Defensive Ockerberry. Main issue is Mawile is very known for clicking knockoff. So if it knocks off the Ockerberry and then it's running Firefang, we're just dead. There's nothing I can do about that. We would just die. And I have no other mods. Like I have no mods on the entire team that takes two hit guaranteed. Cause because you can just it can just spam knockoff. Every time it's in, it can just spam knockoff. And it knocks off an item. Even if I have a resistance spare, it won't matter. So yeah. I'm going high by offense and just trying to beat down my opponent rather than uh, trying to take the hits. And Lastly, we have Palosan, a one defensive mod on the entire team. And that's mainly just here because I wanted, I wanted the Stealth Rocket. A little bit of extra hazard chip can be very nice. It also does actually have a semi-decent matchup for once, which is rare. It's very rare this has had a good matchup. But it is decent for more while. They can take like a hit. Um, with the Culberry, guaranteed takes a hit no matter what. Even I think even they are plus two. We have a small, 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 small chance to live like a player off, um, I think. If they if they are if they're jolly, I'm pretty sure we live it. If they're adamant, it's like a 25% chance to live, I believe, or something like that. I can't remember fully. Also, I whew, names. Yeah, we're professional over here. Woo! Is, <laughs> whoops. Maybe I should spell it correctly. There we go. <laughs> uh uh whoop, shiny, that's what I wanted to click. Whoops. Um, so yeah, Earth Power, Toxic, Show Up, and Stealth, 240 in HP, 220 in Defense, 40 in Special Defense with the uh, Relaxed Nature. Now, look at the spread, look at the speed spread a little bit here. This guarantees that we underspeed a Brave Mobile. So if Trick Room is up, we can underspeed it and click Earth Power. I did creep for that because doesn't I, I didn't want to creep being able to outspeed 
like the more while of being able to outspeed because I do think Trick Room has a good chance of coming. So having the one counter just seems pretty smart this time around. Also, I'm running Toxic over like Shadow Ball just because if I can Toxic the slow bro, Toxic the Landorus that wants to come in, the Thunderous that might want to come in, the Shaman, I feel like that's just better than hitting them with a Shadow Ball. You can argue Shadow Ball would be good for bro, but I feel like Toxic in the long run would just straight up be much, much, much better. So yeah, that's the team this week. As always, if you liked the video so far, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment below if you the team below. As you can see here, it's probably the first time I've ever ran this hyper offense-ish style. So if it's a disaster, I'm sorry it is what it is. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel for future videos. I will hit into the bell. So peace, YouTube. All right, what's good, YouTube? Jump and Thomas here, and welcome to our NBA playoffs round one match. We're going up against Joe Pig, and he picked. He ended up you bringing the Mega Mawile, the Landorus, the Thunderous, the Slowbro, the Shaman, and the Buffalon. I almost skipped the Shaman because it's so small. Um, I guess the only thing I'm super surprised about here is the Buffalon. Question mark. I guess if it's Sapsip or Buffalon, I guess it could be here for the um, Sceptile. Sceptile did have a Simidis matchup this uh, for this match, so I don't think it's out of the question. I do see a lack of Darkrai really answers. I guess, but I guess a Spadef Shaman could maybe be that. What's like the best bet here? What's like a really good, what's a good lead? What does he lead is the question. He's okay. Actually, no, I already know the answer to that one. He's leading the slow bro. I'm like 100% on that. What's my best slow bro answer? Yeah, I could lead Finny and try and trick, but if he, if it does lead like Thundy, it is really, really bad. I kind of don't want him to lead that. I kind of want to lead Darkrai again just because Darkrai does a lot of damage to a lot of his team. Uh, but if Lando is Scarf, that's an issue. I'm gonna lead Feeny. If he leads Shaman, he leads Shaman. That's annoying, but it is what it is. He does lead the Lando, okay. So, Lando is Therian, right? It, I can't remember, is it Gunk Shot this thing gets, I think? It does not get Gunk Shot, I'm stupid. It gets Sludge Bomb and Sludge Wave, not too worried about that. Uh, what else? Like a knockoff will be a little bit annoying because we won't be specs anymore, but all I'm kind of fine with that. I think I'm just clicking Moonblast on an incoming... Oh, bro? Probably. Uh, we take a lot of damage because we're not like physically defensive, but I feel like he wouldn't stay in because we absolutely murder him with a water move no matter what. Because we are specs. I guess unless he's partial Barry, he could be partial Barry. I feel like that's a stretch because I could run ice beams just so I can hit the shaman as well. The U turns does 13. Does that might be offensive? Offensive with U turn. Wow, wait, wait, is that? Ooh, that might be offensive adamant. Okay, I think that's offensive adamant. It was looked like so. I don't think he's going shaman because he would risk the ice beam, and I feel like ice beam would do a lot, right. Am I about to see a Buffalon? Is that it? <laughs> that, that would be funny. I will give him. That would be funny. Like an AB Buffalon, maybe? Actually, maybe... Could Buffalon be his win count? That would be... Like, I would be down with Buffalon win count. I feel... Like, if I lose that, I'm happy. I, I'll take it all day, every day. Yeah. He does go Shaman. Okay. I'm glad I clicked Moonblast. Do 60% to his Shaman. Man, if I had had Ice Beam on this thing, -wee, I think that Shaman would have been dead. Very dead. Actually, never mind, it wouldn't. Wow, okay. Shaman is a fat, fat little hog. Hog. It's, it's a, it's a, um, porcupine. No. Though, what's the actual Sonic? Like, uh, it's, it's Sonic. It's a porcupine. It's not porcupine. It's a hedgehog. That's, that's, that's what it is. I don't know my animals in English. Okay, sorry. Now question them, what the hell does this thing... Like, um, I feel like... I mean, I can go scissor, like, our team is very offensive heavy, so we don't... It's not like I can sit and take a hit from much of anything. It's, like, I feel like this is gonna be like a sub-lead seed maybe or something, but I'm gonna go scissor. I feel like scissor... I, I know scissor is very obvious, but he also doesn't have a good scissor answer. So you see Flash, he's lifeful. Wow, he's, okay, so he's offensive shaman. 
Now, what's his answer to this is the question. I'm just gonna sword stance, I think. Like, we are gonna go for early damage, I think. Because I'm like, what exactly do you swap into here? Like, don't get me wrong, I get the Landorus, right? Do I not just... Since he seems to be offensive at Orlando. Wasn't life all... Yeah, I don't think it was Bandit. I feel like Bandit would have done more to Finny with the U-turn. Yeah, no, Bandit would have done more. So he probably is Leftovers. Our Scissor. His Earthquake does a lot. If we are plus one we don't do that much with bullet punch which would be annoying but we also do take one so if we go plus three we do yeah not guaranteed more while wow okay okay plus one we take a fire fang because we do have our archer berry we just go for bullet punch here. I kind of want to set up to plus three. I'm, I'm a little bit afraid he substitutes, right? But I guess I can always break this up and then hit afterwards. And going plus three, I think it's just better here. If he has a lot of speed in this, he does outpace our scissor, which means sucker... Wait, is sucker punch naturally faster or is it the same speed priority? I actually can't remember. Priority. Stage one, because that's why bullet punch is. Sucker punch. Sucker punch is also stage one. So if we if we are faster than him, that means our bullet punch will hit before. We take a fire fang as long as you don't know maybe crystals that would be. Ah, uh, actually, ooh. I, no, no, because I would bullet punch. He he needs to be faster. Like no matter what, he needs to be faster. Which would be annoying, right? I'm so expensive. Okay, Barry. Yep. Oh, fine. oh, wait. I saw stance first. I'm faster. I'm faster. I'm about to do a lot of damage to this team, I think. Uh, if he's Rocky Helmet slow, bro, I mean, that's annoying. He goes into that now, right? So yeah, our sis uh, outpaces his mobile, which I'm very happy about. He's plus three right now. He can go Lando to try and intimidate us down. If he doesn't want to sack the mobile. We should kill a mobile here, I think. Oh, wait. Am I stupid? Wait, what? Why am I all of a sudden not killing? Oh god. Oh god, that was I looked at something wrong apparently. Did I not I, I might not have had mega I don't know. I might not have had mega mall while up, apparently. Because now I'm not killing all of a sudden, even though it said I was gonna kill before. Like I knew he was gonna have fire fang on this thing, right? Like I knew. Knew. Wait, there's there's something wrong with this guy, because fire fang is also do way more to this all of a sudden. Like five thing did yeah sixty six. That's what I figured it would. No uh, mobile, mega mobile sword stance. Fire thing. Uh, I'm so confused. There's something wrong with the top right now, and can't fig I cannot figure out what it is. Right. The because the art uh, hmm. that's so odd. Like I, I cannot figure out what it is because Arca, it, it lo almost looks like the Arca Berry is like not working on Showdown right now, like the Cal. I don't know. But like I've even closed it and reopened it because. Because, like, the five thing damage he did is less than what Showdown is showing with the Auger Barrier. Which, that, the damage he did is what I expected him to do, right? That Like, that's what I expected him to do. That was the amount of damage I expected. 
Which is why I don't understand how... How the hell Fire Fang is supposed to do them? Wait, what? I'm so... I'm so unbelievably confused on what's going on. Like, I'm really, like, clicking and checking here. You know, so he doesn't kill, we don't kill, he knocks off, that's fine. Um, I can go Del fucking Sop. I don't think he has a good answer for that. I can go Paddle Sand. I don't quite understand why the Calyx, because like the bullet punch damage here was correct. But the Fire Fang damage he did was more akin to what I saw before. He did do 66, which was within what I thought he was going to do. I don't know what's going on. There's something with the Calg I don't understand. Um, I can go Delphox, Sop, because he, he, like, he has to swap, right? We have Shadow Ball for the Slowbro. And he would probably want to try and pop that. Um, Mega Mobile Sucker Punch, right? Actually, if I had Roosted with Scissor, would I live? Was it 12? It, nah, no, it, it wasn't. It wouldn't be guaranteed. So he might, like, he might think I'm Colba Berry, right? That might be his play here. Okay, so he goes Buffalon. Okay. So what exactly does this thing want to do? Yeah, wow, Psychic does nothing to this if it's Speed Death. Wow. I mean, I'm still gonna hit it, right? Crit. Oof, sorry. Because it has Lash Out. Um, how does the Lash Out works? Two times power the user had a stat lower this turn. Okay, I don't, I don't know why you're, I don't know why you're running Lash Out because it's, I'm pretty sure it gets Throat Chop. Yeah, it gets Throat Chop, right? I don't have to on that one, but uh, sure. Um, I can go... I can go Feeny, I think. Last out won't do a whole lot. We can get Body Pan Slayered. <laughs> Slayered. Parrot. And I can fire up Hydro Pump, because I think where, from where Shaman is, it just dies, right? Yeah, it would just die. So I'm gonna go Feeny here, I think. Actually, this thing gets uh, Grass moves, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure. The only... Physical grass move against this grassy glide, so you would have to predict Finny and click grassy glide, but even then I'm not sure we die. Right? I know we take that pretty decently. Yeah, I feel like Finny is just the best answer here, right? I don't wanna risk losing the co he just head charges. Oops. I mean actually that makes perfect sense. I don't even know why I've thought anything else, you know, but <laughs> I believe we kill him now with a Hydro Pump from where he's at. If he's because based on the well, actually we crit with Psychic. How much did Delphix do? Crit Psychic did 39. So he's max speed up on this thing. Oh, he might kill Finny here. Man, I should have gone Palo Sand. I just thought he was gonna click Lash out again and didn't want to risk that. Uh, we have a good chance to kill him. If we hit. He's at what 49%? We have it. We have about an eighty percent chance to kill from Max Pedef. Oh, he lives on one. On one. <laughs> oh, he lives on one. You're kidding me. <laughs> ah. Okay, that's not great. I'm expecting right now. I'm thinking the lander is a scarf since he since he left with it, right? Um. I think I'm gonna go Delphox because it doesn't allow Mawile, doesn't allow Shaman. We can take a hit from Thundee if we want to get damage on that thing. Like, this is a hyper offensive team, we're not here to stay for a long while, we're just here to do damage, basically. I might have played Scyther, uh, not Scyther, Scyther way too early, but uh, it is what it is, I'll, I'll like, deal with it. He is Dark Pulse on his, uh, we do take, yeah, we're at 87, we take a hit from the Thundee if he's, like, Boots. We do a lot back. Like, I could see, I could see Thundee here, Ryan. I'm gonna go Delphox. He went land. Okay, this is Scarf. At this point, I know this is Scarf. Like, I'm like pretty, pretty, pretty confident. This, this is Adam and Choice Scarf. Right? 
one hundo. Well, not one. I was saying like one hundred percent health. I was putting my opponent's team back on uh, high health. Um, I'm just gonna go Palo Sand. Even if he knocks off, I think that's fine. Cause I'm pretty sure we take it. Yeah, yeah, we take that easily. So he could knock off here. We pop, we pop a cold barbarian. That's a little bit annoying. He could you okay? So actually, ooh, worst case scenario is probably he U turns into shame and not a thing about it. Yeah, that's like worst case scenario. Well, we haven't done a whole lot. Of, like his land on thunder is still like max health, which is really bad. And with Lando being Scarf, we actually need... I'm still gonna go Palo. If he knocks off, he knocks off. I, there's not much I can do about that, right? Like, I feel like knockoff is always this play here as well. Like, I don't... I don't sorry I'm keep clicking back and forth, but I'm like... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wasn't here in the game in the beginning for some reason. Now, now I'm like here. Now I'm a little bit more locked in. We go Palo. He probably knocks. No, oh, he EQs. Okay. 36%. That looks... Battle Sand. Yeah, that looks like... Um... What's it called? Earthquake U-turn. That looks very... Uh, choice Scarf, I'm not gonna lie. Which I think I'm gonna hard swap to Sceptile. Because he probably goes hard Shaman here, and Sceptile beats the Shaman from where it's at, basically. And we don't... Do we die to one more mile Sucker Punch? We don't. I'm gonna hard the... Uh, yeah, he goes hard Shaman, I go hard uh, Sceptile. Okay. I am just gonna... I think Dragon Pulse is pretty free here, right? He might go... Bundy on this, potentially. No, Dragon, Dragon Ball is very free, I think. Actually, from where the Mawile is, we can click Energy Ball when it comes in, so I'm actually more than... Actually, does Shaman die from any Energy Ball? Uh, it does not. I'm clicking Dragon Ball 100%. Yeah. If he goes Mawile, it goes Mawile. We take A hit, and then we hit... Um, like, we take A Sucker Punch, and then we just hit it with uh, Energy Ball, because Energy Ball should kill from where it's at. Uh, what he's probably gonna do is he's gonna let this uh, go down. Yeah, gonna let this. That's A V, huh? Wait, no, it's life. How the hell did it take that? What? Oh, terrain. Oh. Oh fuck. Damn. No, I missed it that like a lot. Fuck. That was really bad. That was like really really bad. Fuck, that, that matters a lot. That matters so much. Oh, that's gonna matter so... Mm. I'm gonna protect, see what he wants to lock himself into. Boom, U-turn, okay. Scepter is really good just because it, it basically takes... No, he just U-turns in Thundee or... Oh, fuck. I'm not doing well right now. I think I have to go Palo Sand, like, no matter what. I think if he goes Bro, I have to stay in, basically. That's what I'm... U-turns. It's like, Thun... Uh, Scepter is still really good for slow Bro, and it outpaces Thundee, which is kind of important. We still have Darkrai in the, in the end. Dark Darkrai... No, I don't think Darkrai can win this game, because Land I think Landris is gonna be the difference maker. Actually, ooh, Darkrai does take a... Earth wow, Darkrai does take an Earthquake, because we made a bulky Darkrai. I really wish I was not Life Orb right now. If I wasn't Life Orb Darkrai, I think Darkrai wins this game pretty much. If I was like S Expert Belt, I think Expert Belt uh, Darkrai wins this, basically would have won this game from here. If I'm being on, well, if he's Culpa Berry, he's Slow Bro, that's a different story, but. So he goes Slendy. So he, ha he has. Um... Did he pop my Culpa? He did not. Thunderous. So he has either Knock or Dark Pulse on this thing, like one of the two. Do we pop that to get healthy again? I think we do, because I want to keep myself healthy for him. Um, I want to keep myself healthy. So, so like, he does 30, we heal 50, we come out on top, we sack Sceptile, we're going to Darkrai. Maybe, I think, maybe, I'm actually, maybe we're going to Delphox, because Delphox takes a hit. Yes, we get a, that a little bit lower. Is that the, the move? I think that's the move, yeah. See, Dark Pulse, we have the... Uh, hold on. Take that, heal back up. That's fine. Like I'm, I, like I know, I know we lose the Cobra, but we need, 
We gain health, and that's like the important part here, that we gain the health. Okay, I'm gonna quickly import my Palo Sand set without the Cobra Berry, because otherwise I will forget to remove it and I will be like, what? I'll do that real quick, just 100% sure on what's going on. Okay, yeah. I misplay- Ugh, man, I misplayed with the Sceptile turn. If I hadn't misplayed that, I actually think we would have been like ahead right now. Like, I think we would have been a good amount ahead, ahead which is annoying. Uh, Palisand. Also, my, my Calc fucking up in the beginning with the assist I was a little bit annoying because I thought I was ki gonna kill more while plus three, but apparently just not. He's probably gonna... Actually, he might click U-turn, I'm not gonna lie. He might click U-turn. Just expecting, like, Darkrai to maybe come in. I think I'm just gonna sack Sceptile here. I think that's the safest play here. I just click Dark Pulse. I could actually have gone Darkrai, like, let Darkrai take some hit. Take a hit. Um, I guess I'm just going dark right now. Ice Beam should kill this thing if he goes into it. If he goes, I don't know, more while on it. We, we have coverage, we can take it. Okay, we're just clicking Ice Beam. He basically has to sack something now, I think. Actually, if he's Cold Boss Lobo, I guess he can do that. Because I'm not clicking Dark Pulse on this turn, right? Um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just clicking. If he, if he turns out to be Yachi Bear on this thing, that is very well played. I'll give you that. He could be pranks the T-Wave. Ah, oh, I'm a dark type. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I just remembered that. Oh, that was actually really good. Like, whew. Thank God for Darkrai being a dark type. That means he can prank the T-Wave me. Woo. Please forget that. Please try. Forget and try. Please. That would be like a massive momentum turn for me. Because that's just a free kill at that point. Like, he has to be Yachi, AV, like max HP or something. To live this. Which I sincerely doubt he would be. Like if he's max HP, then I don't know. I don't know what that means because he just he be max speed, max HP, and still outpaced Del Fox. Um, yeah, yeah. So we killed. Thank you. So here comes the annoying part, Ryan. I now have to sack him on probably to this. Actually. My my cat just my cat just decided to walk on my table. What the hell is going on? Hi, how are you doing? You're having fun? Yeah. Down. Thank you. So I'm basically calculating. Does Darkrai live here? He does. Like I live any one hit he has, and I want to click. Dark Pulse? Because I think I think he U-turns here, right? Dark Pulse is... Yeah, okay, just 34 to 40. I want to click Dark Pulse because I definitely think he U-turns here. He, I guess he could lock himself into Earthquake. Earthquake does quite a lot here. Like, to the entirety of my team. But if he locks himself in, he can go Paddle Sand, right? He does U-turn, yeah. So he has to either sack Mola now or sack uh, Slowbro, basically, at that, at that point. Because even if we go Slowbro, we get two hits up on that, which means we will pop a Cold Bear and then kill it on the after falling, the following turn. Um, I think I think was, this was the best play by far. So yeah, we kind of caught up a little bit of momentum. We got some good momentum turns. We have Palace and healthy enough to take on the Lando, which is like, that was like the main thing we needed to do. That was be able to take on the, um, what should I call it, um, Lando. Like, that was literally just what we needed it for. I guess you could make the ar argument, oh, but then you should have kept the Cobra Barrier for knockoff. But the thing is, now we don't have an item, knockoff does less anyway. This acts more while that's interesting, okay. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I see, I see what he's going for, I see what he's going for. I, I definitely see it. He is, um, basically, yeah, so he's forcing me to... Probably sack Delphox here because I need Dark Rifle Slow Bro. Yeah. Do that. AEQs kills Delphox. We go Paddle Sand. I thankfully have Toxic on this. So I actually might be able to win like a Stall Wall of some sort. How much does EQ do to Paddle? It doesn't do that much, right? E. 32 to 38. We are at 76. Oh, he could actually be two cores from where we are. Why is this not working? Oh, thank you. He has an 8.2% chance. Uh, actually, no, I'm pretty sure he's adamant. That's what I gathered. 
How much does a slow bro do? Ah, Spall does way too much. That's the issue. I am water compaction, which actually might come in handy. Wow. First time water compaction ever comes handy. I'm gonna toxic on this turn. He, I think, well, no, no, no. I don't think, uh, actually, mm. What's his chance of killing us? Is the issue. What's the answer? Uh, he's Scarf. If he's not Scarf, Dark Rider literally just wins the game. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, we are at 76. He has... Uh, he's... I'm saying it's adamant. He has an 82% chance to kill us at that point. Uh, are there any other ways I can... Okay, the U-turn on Dark Rider is like the 100% guarantee I know what he is. Dark Rider. His U-turn... Did... Only fifth? No, he's jolly. He is jolly. He just got a really fucking high roll at the end, and he got a really low roll on Darkrai. Holy! That was on Darkrai, right? Like, so go right, ice beam kill. He goes in. He U turn. Okay, so he is jolly. He is jolly. Okay, then I'm taking the risk. I'm toxicing. Yeah, so he does. He gets. Yeah, he gets kind of a low roll. That's fine. I'll take that. Uh, he might swap on this turn. I'm gonna show up. He if he crits here, that's you know, fuck it. I I, I just wasn't meant to win. Yeah, he goes, bro. Thought so. Basically, I have to Toxic and try and... Uh, but the problem is if he... Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. Because I built Palosan, like, really, really fucking slow, he might outpace me. That might be the end game. If he has, like, any speed in this, he might outpace me. He does outpace me. That's... You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Yeah, that's GG. He does outpace me. That's why I like I got a shore. Like shore I stalled him potentially, but yeah. I mean I can go for like the speed tire, you know? Yeah no, he how fast how fast is this thing? Actually wait, if he's just like gold instead. You know, wait, how fast is that? Oh wait, this doesn't show EVs or anything. Never mind then. Yeah, no, he he outpay oh my god, he if he's zero speed bold. He outpaces me because I sped crept the trick room. You're kidding me! You are joking with me! That is why I lose because I sp I sped crept the goddamn trick room. And that's what that's what I lose by. You ah, oh, that pisses me off. I lose because I sped crept the trick room. You're kidding me! What? Oh wait, that was the second one. I was like, what? Yes, he did 64. Yeah, so that was so I could have potentially sat there and like tried to toxic stall him, right? If I had been faster, I'm pretty because because if I'm like just max, um, calm, right? I would outpace on non-speed investor slow bro. Barring any crits, I could sit there and toxic stall him slowly, right? And because he's hitting me with water moves, I would have gotten to like plus six defense. Which means in turn, Landris doesn't revenge against me. Unless he crits. Like, like, it, oh, that's so... I sped crept the trick room and that, that cost me the loss. You're kidding me. Pretty sure I had that if I hadn't done that. Like, it, it would come down to like some rolls and potentially crits and whatnot, but I... I would have had a good fighting chance. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Like I could even even at one turn I could have like sacked Darkrai so it wouldn't take like like maybe a turn he gets a low roll I sack Darkrai so he gets extra toxic damage and if he's within range I can Earth Power to kill it. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, I'm just gonna round the video out. Like I'm not mad at Joe. Like there was there was a good game. There's not none of us did anything wrong. I'm just really annoyed. I sped crept the trick room. And that's what, and I'm pretty sure that what ends up losing me the game. Well, as always, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the battle. I thought it was a good battle. I actually thought it played very well, considering it was like a high bar offense team. And subscribe to the channel for future videos. And with that, I will head out. So peace, YouTube.